Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor, and in today's video, we're going to be saying deliverance and warfare prayers against sexual sin, sexual immorality, and marine spirits. And if you didn't know, usually all of these demonic spirits all work and function together. They're tied together and they operate together. And God really put it on my heart in this deliverance video to target marine spirits and just sexual immorality, spirits that compel you to live and indulge in sexual sin. And if you are a Christian, your heart belongs to Jesus, you're not gonna turn back to these sins, but you hate them and you wanna be free, then this is the prayer for you. If we are not serious and we go and we get demons cast out, we pray the deliverance prayers in faith, and then we return to the sin, Jesus tells us in the Bible that we actually put ourselves in danger of those spirits coming back seven times worse. And so if you don't want to be free and you're gonna return to your sin and your vomit, then this is not the prayer for you. And I urge you to click off so you don't end up worse okay and so today we're going to be targeting sexual sin marine spirits and so some of you might be saying what's marine spirit that word is not in the bible and it isn't um, there are demonic spirits powers and principalities the bible says in the air and in the waters and so marine spirits is just a category of these demonic spirits that live and dwell in the water and you might not know their names or know what they are but many of you probably have their manifestations and you know they are they're living and showing up in your life in some way and you're simply unaware and so that's why i feel like this video is so important to explain what these are the signs the symptoms and they're very very common more often than not and i have done many many deliverance sessions and most of the time usually almost in every session i could think of there were well, there was at least one marine spirit that had to be cast out and a, and a marine spirit is just what it sounds like it's a demon that lives dwells or operates out of the water okay and so uh, marine spirits operate when people usually when people consciously and unconsciously commit sexual sin this is a big gateway a big sign a big symptom of marine spirits is sexual sin so in the book of job in the bible job writes about leviathan this sea this principality this high-ranking spirit this creature that lives in the sea that's just one of the examples of spirits that live and dwell in the waters that are listed in the bible and this is because in most cultures around the world there is deity and ancestral worship of marine demons um, half fish half human gods gods with fins gods with fish heads gods with tails and we know that these gods that the ancient people worship the bible calls them demons and so just think about common greek mythology right Aphrodite was born, um, there was some god that, uh, you know, was born out of uh, sea foam. So there in the Greek mythology, like some god like ripped off their enemies or somebody's testicles and threw them in the sea foam, I believe is the myth. And out of the sea foam, Aphrodite, the goddess of love and intercourse, sexual sin, pornography, um, defilement was born and she came from the waters. Poseidon obviously is another really big sea god, the god of the sea, these false deities that were worshipped. Um, that's just Greek mythology, but when you get into all of the mythologies of all of the cultures, there's always some kind of water god or water deities. Think about even mermaids, things from folklore, things from culture. Ancient people really believed and worshipped these things creatures and thought they were gods um, when the bible calls these spirits that people worshipped that are false gods the bible calls them demons and so in most most cultures around the world there is ancestral worship of marine deities and as a result of this they dedicate their family members to these gods and it goes down the bloodline and in a lot of people's cases and, and especially in other countries you know in america that's uh, not as normal as in other nations where paganism really had uh, s such deep roots in the culture. And so in all these other countries, in Africa and the Caribbean and South America, there was a lot of worship of these in the Middle East too, of these marine um, water spirits, water gods, and they would 
put on the altars and dedicate their bloodlines and dedicate their lineages. And this brings curses upon the family and the family bloodline. And this is where generational curses can creep in as well. So we know in the Bible that there are spirits that roam the earth. The Bible says that demons are persons without bodies that roam around the earth. And we also know in the Bible, in the book of Daniel, um, the angel came to Daniel and said, I was fighting the, the prince of Persia. And so there's, there's spirits over regions, over land, over territories and in the bible it says there's a prince of the power of the air so we have water spirits we have air we have land and so there are demonic spirits that according to the bible in all of these different realms and dwelling places behemoth is another water spirit that is mentioned in the bible so is dagon he was the god of i believe the philistines and leviathan as mentioned in the book of job there are serpent and snake demons in Acts 16 the apostle paul cast a python spirit out of a woman who was a fortune teller. She did witchcraft. She was a psychic and she would speak demonic prophecies over people and they would pay her money. And the Bible says she got her powers to do witchcraft through a serpent and a snake. And obviously snakes can live in the water and on the land. And so um, very common marine spirit strongholds that we deal with in deliverance are python and snake and serpent spirits. Um, when Jesus cast demons out of the, the, the man with the legions of demons the demons begged to go into the pigs and then immediately the pigs ran threw themselves off of the cliff and into the sea and drowned so there is something there about those spirits wanted to be back into the water okay so as Christians, we have dominion and power over the air, over the land, and over the sea because God gave dominion to us, um, his creation to rule over the earth. And when humankind sinned, the devil took that dominion. That's why it says the devil is the ruler of this world in the Bible. But now because of Jesus, the devil is a defeated foe. When Jesus um, died on the cross and rose again, it says that he took the keys of Hades. He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And now, you know, Jesus has conquered conquered the enemy and he he is our enemy and we do fight him but we fight from a place of victory because of the cross and so that's why when we pray over these issues and problems and spirits and demons in your life you don't have to pray from a place of I hope God sets me free God please you, you come from a place of God I know you're gonna set me free because you say that the devil his head is under my heel that serpent the head of the serpent I crush it under my foot that you have won that you are, are the ruler of the universe and you rule the land and the seas father god that your word is the final say and i have authority in christ because the holy spirit lives in me and the same spirit that rose christ from the dead is alive in me and now i have the authority in the name of jesus to command these demons out so we're fighting today we're contending for you from a place of victory in christ and so because these spirits are worshipped in all parts of the world a lot of these people like we mentioned made multi-generational covenants um, there are queens of the water that are worshipped there's all sorts of things and so today um, i'm going to now share with you some of the ways you're like okay i get it i get the backstory i understand that it's in the bible what do i do now i have all this sexual sin i have dreams where i'm swimming in dirty water i have fertility problems i have marriage problems would you believe me if i told you all of these things are connected because a lot of the time most of the time they truly are okay and so marine spirits can manifest as sicknesses mental illness insanity and poverty they can be mind binding spirits when we talk about a mind control spirit it's described as like a, like an octopus like a squid that can sit on the head and we describe it and that's a creature of the sea why do we describe it that way because an octopus or a squid it's just a way to put an image in our head to the way this demon operates so we can get an understanding. It's not a literal octopus that sits on your head. It's it's symbolic. But you know how an octopus, when it catches a prey, it, it wraps its tentacles around. And so people with a mind control spirit will have a spirit that, that sits on top of their heads and it can cause migraines. It will cause headaches, head tumors, head problems. Um, a lot of people that have chronic migraines and headaches and they feel like something is constricting around their head, especially if they're in church or getting prayer, that thing will start manifesting. That's a common way. Um, and so each tentacle is, you know, different things for different people. For someone, it can be depression, anxiety, um, insanity, mental problems, and it can come in secular music, demonic movies, the things that come into the eye gates, the ear gates. These are things, the movies we watch, the music we listen to, these are images 
and they can be cursed. They can just be demonic. They can just be sinful. And these are things that swirl around our brain and our subconscious mind. So these are things that these demons feed off of. It makes them stronger or it can even open the door for them to get in. So when we talk about mind control, it's symbolic where that spirit will wrap around your mind and pull at you and pull at you. And you have to take it out from the root. We can't just come and cut off a tentacle symbolically and say depression come out in Jesus name you might not have a spirit of depression that might not be the demon the demon could be a mind control like a squid what we call a mind control spirit and that's just one tentacle and what happens when you cut off a tentacle it will grow right back because it's not dealing with the root that mind binding marine spirit that could have come through secular movies or music. It could have been generational. It could have come in through watching things online, sexual things online that we shouldn't be watching. The doors to open these, we're gonna go through them. And so that's an example of another kind of marine spirit and how they can manifest as bringing mental illness. Oftentimes, marine spirits pollute people through sex, sexual acts, sexual immorality. If you are having um, intercourse and sexual relations within your marriage, you're not sinning and you don't have anything to worry about. But when you get into watching pornography, touching yourself, sex outside of marriage, cheating on your husband or wife, sexual sins, sexual fantasies, fantasizing about people that is not your husband and wife, dreaming about they, you know, those things, even if it's your husband or wife, we're not supposed to be having sexual relations in our dreams. And so those are other signs and symptoms of um, that. And so you might have clicked on this video saying, I need freedom from pornography. I need freedom from sexual nightmares. And I'm telling you, the root might actually be a marine spirit. We're going to pray for all of it. So whatever the root may be, we're going to you know, get you covered and get you prayed up in Jesus name. But I'm just giving you some of the symptoms of marine spirit so you can identify, learn how to warfare and learn how to pray against these things. So how do you get these things? I already mentioned a few of the ways. Some more ways you can get them is if you go to false preachers, false ministers, false prophets, and pastors, right? In the book of Acts, it said that that um, that the spirit, the serpent, the snake spirit was giving that young woman the ability to to prophesy but it was false prophecy she was saying things and they were coming true but she wasn't hearing from the spirit of god she was getting her powers from a demon and so sometimes false ministers and false prophets can be operating out of um, a, a spirit like that and so if you go to them and receive from them that's one way that you can get uh, a marine spirit witch doctors witches psychics mediums reiki healers the occult new age and witchcraft can open the doors for you to get those types of spirits we already talked about sexual sin that's one way that you get them through um, demonic sensual lascivious music and movies demonic things that you're taking into your mind through dreams at night and some of these things can run in your family so some of these things might be a familiar spirit a, a demon that's following the bloodline or a generational curse that is traveling through the bloodline and that needs to be broken in jesus mighty name and and in deliverance in deliverance um sessions we have been praying for people and a, um, a man could have a um, a woman that comes to him in his dreams and does you know inappropriate things in their dreams and there will be times in the sessions where the holy spirit will tell me this same one visited his father and his grandfather and his great grandfather and i'll call it out and i'll say you know we call him a spirit husband a spirit wife a spiritual spouse like this spirit literally comes to you in the night and does horrible sexual things with you and it thinks that it's married to you um, and it comes to destroy your marriage if you're having marriage problems or you can't get married and you're addicted to watching things online those are symptoms of, of a spiritual spouse of this demon that tries to you know do that stuff to you in the night and people don't talk about this stuff in the, in the mainstream church at large they don't talk about it and people suffer in silence from these sexual nightmares and one of the symptoms of a, of a spiritual spouse is bloating in the for women bloating in the womb st- uh, cramps um, really really heavy and painful periods you're not able to conceive you have infertility um, you have issues going on in the womb sometimes PCOS endometriosis can um, can be not every time of course but they can be symptoms and we've prayed for women and cast the the spiritual spouse out that demon that defiles you in the night and literally watch their bloated stomach literally in the moment deflate and it was it looked like they were four months pregnant who knows with what because those spirits do literally do things to you in the night and it literally looks like they're pregnant they're bloated really bad and literally watch the stomach deflate to looking four or five months pregnant to totally and completely flat and i've seen this multiple times 
um, in the in the editing of this video, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put a side by side of a picture that one girl sent me after I prayed for her, and you can see literally the difference of her stomach, and she couldn't eat foods like certain foods would bloat her up and she'd be in so much pain and after she got delivered from a spiritual spouse she was able to eat anything that she want and her stomach was totally flat and god healed her and that was a symptom that that thing was putting in her life um so other ways you can get them as if your family ancestral worship if they dedicated the bloodline to these deities these water gods you know if these covenants that were made and this is again is more common in other countries but you know these spirits are stubborn and they hang on to bloodline oaths even if they went back 10 generations these things will really try to cling on um and then also ritual baths in the new age people do like sound baths and also yoga like there's serpent and cobra poses kundalini as a serpent that you invite into your body um, and then ritual baths as well and so in some forms of like eastern religions and false spirituality there are are uh, snake spirits you know dragons are worshipped in a lot of the asian cultures and so these are um also other things that open the door for that worship and so symptoms that you have a marine spirit um dreaming like you're swimming or you're trapped in like dirty waters or oceans or rivers or just you're in water in general and not every single dream about that you have about water means that you have a spirit but pay attention to all of these symptoms and say okay i'm having dreams that this spirit is coming and um, doing things to me sexual things to me that are scary in my dreams and i'm having problems in my dating relationships i'm addicted to watching these things online i'm listening to you know ungodly music and i'm having dreams that i'm swimming in dirty water okay like so don't just take one of these and say, I had a dream that I was swimming and surfing in the ocean. Am I possessed? No. We we look at things. How does a doctor diagnose you? They look at all of the symptoms. And if multiple things check off the list, they say, yeah, this is probably what you have. So we do that too when we're trying to figure out what's going on spiritually. What do I need to pray against? What kind of attack is this? We have to have strategy when we go into warfare. We don't just go in blind and swinging in every direction, but we need to be precise when you know they're, they're doing archery, like their eyes on the target, they're fixed, they're focused, and they hit that mark. And we need to do that in deliverance. We shouldn't just go around swinging blindly and not know what we're doing and not believe in what we're doing. Um, and so another symptom is you have a vicious or a stubborn spirit husband or wife. No matter how many times you pray, no matter how many deliverance sessions you go to, you keep having sexual nightmares or dreams at night. Of It, it can even be literally of your husband or wife. It doesn't matter. Those spirits will shape shift and take that form so you're open to it in the dream. If you're married and you love your husband, you're going to be less likely to just have a sexual dream about a stranger, you know, like that you have a sense of self in the dream. And so that's another thing that they'll do. Number four, you could be seeing um, water, like water, marine animals in your dreams, like snakes and serpents and um, fish and octopus. Again, not every single one. I'm going to give you an example. Um, if you if you are having a dream and you're scuba diving and you're happy and you're seeing all these beautiful turtles and fish, that probably doesn't mean anything bad but if you're being chased by a crocodile if a snake is wrapping around you or it's in your bed if you're in the water and you see a giant sea monster those are things to say hmm what's going on here and so when you're interpreting your dreams first go to god first pray about it don't just go googling random things online that'll take you to a, a new age website but pray ask god pay attention to the environment. How am I feeling? Am I uplifted? Am I happy? Am I encouraged? Am I in the presence of God? You know, or am I, am I terrified? Do I feel dirty? Do I feel ashamed? Do I feel sick? Do I see these, um, lustful symptoms manifest after I have these dreams? Those are your indicators, whether a dream could be you ate too much pizza. It was a carnal dream. It was a God dream or it was a demonic dream. Okay. And so I'll give you an example. A few months back, um, the Lord gave me a dream and a warning, uh, a warning of an attack to come. And I had a dream that I was in my house and I was in my kitchen and an octopus, w it came up out of the drain in my sink and it had the face of a man and it was really ugly and it was an octopus. And I know, you know, mind control, mind binding spirits. Um, we talk about them like as a squid spirit. 
and uh, this this octopus was trying to get at me and come and uh, attack me. And in the dream, I was fighting it off. And so God was warning me in that dream, hey, there, the devil is planning an attack against you. And this is the spirit that's assigned and targeted. And so you need to pray in advance and bind up that attack and shut it down before the enemy can even come at you. And so that's an example of a dream. And in that dream, it was a warning from God. Um, dreaming of snakes, like I said. So other going outside of dreams, what are other symptoms? Hardships that don't go away. It's normal to go through hardships, but if if everything goes wrong and then the second everything gets fixed, another thing goes wrong, another thing breaks, another problem, like everything is always going wrong. That is not normal. And there is probably a demonic spirit behind that period. But in the context of this, if you're having a lot of these symptoms we've already talked about and you're having hardships, that could be a cause of it. Prayer and fasting becomes difficult. A lot of um, uh, Python spirits do this, prayer and fasting, because they're constrictors and they wrap around you and they squeeze, they slowly squeeze the life, the breath, the energy out of you. And so difficulty prayer and fasting, they can cause delay and difficulty in getting married um, and failure in marriage. Um, and again, that's a lot of times that's because of the spiritual spouse. Um, they don't want your marriage to succeed. They want to ensnare you all to themselves. They can cause co poverty, um, terrible dreams, um, miscarriages, barrenness, unexplainable hindrances to progress, uncontrollable sexual urges, and failure, unexplainable failure where there should be success, especially you know right after you've had these dreams or encounters or attacks and you're just having unexplainable failure. Something should have gone great. There was no reason and it's going wrong. Okay, so these are some of the symptoms. And so what do we need to do? This whole video is about the prayer. This is deliverance, but I wanted to give you a rundown in the first half and someone can put a timestamp right here and say, okay, this is where the prayer starts. I might add that in, or if I didn't, someone in the comments and I'll pin it. So this, these are the ways to get free. We repent from all known sin. We turn away and we turn back to God. That's what repentance means. So we stop looking at the things online. We stop listening to those artists and that music that we already feel convicted about, but the beat is so good and it's our favorite artist, it's our favorite song, but it's singing about sexual sin and immorality. No, we, we shouldn't even be messing with those things anymore. The days are short. Jesus is coming soon. We don't have time to be flirting with these things of the darkness. Um, okay, so number two, we surrender our life to Jesus. If you haven't, rededicate your life to God and get it right. Then we're going to renounce and we're going to break all ties to these spirits. I renounce. That means I come out of agreement with the mu music, with the movies, with um, the, the, the fornication, the adultery that I participated in. I cut all of that off in Jesus name and I'm going to walk you through those renunciations and make sure you're living a holy life. Like we talked about, don't go back to the sin, don't go back to the vomit or you're not going to stay free. Um, okay. And so we're going to get deliverance and it's good to just stay prayed up after deliverance today because we know that these things will try to come back so we put on the armor of god we stay prayed up and you can even pray and do deliverance on yourself you know during the days that come and just you know pray make sure no spirit is going to come back in jesus name every you know marine attack every marine spirit go in jesus name after we pray this today so we're going to maintain it those things are not going to be able to come back to you in jesus name and you're going to walk on continue your life and in freedom and say, gosh, I can't believe I used to live that way. I'm so free. I can't imagine how I used to live like that tormented day in and day out. Okay, so we're going to hit our prayer points right now. Okay, first we're going to touch on the, the sexual sins and then we're going to get into the marine spirit attacks okay so you can pray and you can renounce take a moment right now to renounce you can pause the video if you want and renounce everything you have been involved with god i renounce for example watching those things online i renounce watching those movies i renounce listening to demonic music i hear god saying a lot of you need to repent from rap music rap music that talks about women and and all of the things of earth in a really fleshly carnal demonic way degrading defiling um, violence and murder and drugs and sexual sin um, of course a lot of pop music hip-hop you know but i really i really hear the lord hammering rap music right now 
And so renounce, take a moment, repent and renounce, turn away and cut off. God, um, I, I renounce every, and I renounce and I divorce every spirit husband, every spirit wife, every spirit that is trying to come and, 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 and defile me in the night. I renounce that. I renounce every demonic dream I've had, every dream um, where I, I, maybe you ate some cursed food. Maybe you ate something that a, a, a witch gave you in a dream or in real life where you swim in the dirty water or you took a, where you took a sound bath or a ritual bath. God, I renounce every ritual bath in Jesus' name. I renounce witchcraft. I renounce yoga. I renounce kundalini. I renounce worshiping dragons. Whatever you have done, Take a moment, pause the video right here and say your renunciations. And these are powerful because it's not a magical word that just makes demons go away, but renouncing is saying, devil, I don't want you. You're not welcome here. You have no legal right anymore. That's what renouncing tells them. You're cutting off their access point and you're shutting the door. So then when we pray and I command them out or you command them out or anyone commands them out in the name of Jesus, that's the only name that that makes the demons tremble and leave, then they have to go because because you've renounced and shut the door. They don't have any legal right. They don't have anything to grab onto. They just get kicked and thrown out of the house, which is your temple, which is your body. So I renounce and break every evil dedication to water and marine spirits in Jesus name. So do your renunciations. And now we're going to renounce generational witchcraft curses, all of that stuff. So you can say, I renounce all marine spirits in Jesus name. I renounce mind control. I renounce Python. I renounce divination. I renounce fortune telling. I renounce all sexual sin, all ungodly sexual urges. Um, I renounce, you know, alphabet, unnatural attractions. I'm not trying to get flagged here. You know what I'm saying? When you're attracted to the, the, the wrong gender, let's just say it that way. I renounce that lifestyle in Jesus name. I renounce, um, and, and then say, I renounce and I break every generational curse of perversion, of lust, of marine spirits going back all the way to Adam and Eve in the name of Jesus. I come out of agreement and I break every generational curse that any marine spirit had in my life because my ancestors worshipped or made dedications to these demons and to these deities that were worshipped around the world, okay? So now once you've said your renunciations, I want you to think about any soul ties. Did you um, have sexual relations outside of marriage? And even, even maybe you didn't even do the act, but you did sexual things leading up to full-on fornication or adultery. Renounce those things too and say, I break and I renounce in Jesus' name every ungodly soul tie, whether it was your best friend, your friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, an affair, a lover, a mistress. I renounce and I break every ungodly soul tie in Jesus' name right now. I command it to break. So renounce those soul ties because those are another avenue that these spirits can transfer through. Amen? So now I'm going to start praying and commanding these things to go and Jesus is going to free you, okay? So in Jesus' mighty name right now, I break the backbone of all marine powers over the listener of this prayer right now in Jesus' mighty name. I bind up the strong man right now. Every spirit that entered through the water, through the lakes, through the oceans, through the rivers, through ritual baths and dedications, I bind you right now in Jesus' name and I command you to be dumb, deaf, blind, and mute. I break your backbone right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind up the strong man and I command every generational curse over their life to break right now in Jesus' mighty name. Break, break, break. We take the sword of the spirit and we break the chains and we break the binds and we break the holds of every generational uh, curse over them now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I just speak to the strong man and I command him to be bound up with all of his kingdoms and cast out now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All lust, all perversion, all homosexuality, all confusion, all gender confusion, all um, uh, fornication and adultery, go now. Go now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every serpent, every snake, I command you to be cast out by fire by the fire of the Holy Spirit right now. God, I pray that your Holy Spirit fire would touch them from the top of their head, throughout their body, all the way down to their feet and dry up 
all marine waters. Dry up the unclean waters in them, Holy Spirit. Right now we ask you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Leviathan, I dry up your waters and I command you out now in Jesus' name. Mind control, I dry up your ink. I dry up your waters. You squid, you mind-binding spirit, and I command you off right now. I sever off every tentacle of every mind control and mind-binding spirit, and I command you to go in Jesus' name with all of your kingdoms, with all of your tentacles, insanity, depression, um, bulimia, anorexia, uh, um, eating disorders, um, uh, help me Lord, um, bipolar, and all forms of mental illness that you brought with you, you mind control spirit, I command you to go now in Jesus name, take it all with you, every spirit attached to the mind control that came in through movies and music, media, horror movies, rock music, rap music, all kinds of demonic movies and music and even documentaries I hear the Lord saying, be burnt out, be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit and I cancel your assignment and I cast you into the pit of hell, never to return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All marine witchcraft go. Every spirit of witchcraft and sorcery go right now in Jesus name. Astrology and divination, um, fortune telling, psychic, psychic mediums, talking to the dead. Go now in the name of Jesus. Yoga, kundalini, serpent, deities, cobras, poses, shakti, shiva, all yoga deities and demonic spirits and chakras get out right now in the name of Jesus. All marine deposits in your body be consumed now by the fire of the Holy Spirit and come out with all of your roots right now in Jesus name. I divorce the listener of this prayer from every stubborn marine spiritual spouse in the name of Jesus. Be separated, be divorced by them by fire and the power of the blood of Jesus. Now in Jesus name, you will no longer return to them in the sleep and all of the seeds that you planted in their mind, in their heart, in their soul, in their womb and in their uterus be consumed and destroyed right now by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Now take your memories, take your dreams, take every evil deposit with you. You wicked spiritual spouse, I cancel your assignment. You may no longer touch them. They're covered by the blood of Jesus. You can't pass along to their family, to the generations. I forbid you now in Jesus' name, and I command you to be canceled. Every generational um, spiritual spouse, I cancel your assignment now. You cannot go um, and torment the bloodline any longer. I bind you, I rebuke you, and I cast you into the pit of hell and never to return in Jesus' mighty name. Every marine object that they had in their house that tied them to a marine spirit. God, show it to them right now, Father. I ask you, Lord, show them what it is. If it's um, a CD, if it's a movie, if it's a book, if it's an object that a lover gave them, God, I pray that you would show them any objects in their home, um, any evil eyes, any crystals, any sorcery that they have in their home any type of divination, Lord, show it to them so they can throw it out. And I hear God saying, cleanse your home, throw these things out of your home. You're giving the enemy legal rights and legal access to your life, to your children, to your husband, to your families. And some of you wonder why your husband is having affairs and you wonder why he's watching things online or you wonder why your wife is lusting after other men and you pray and you go to church because there are some objects in some of your homes that are bringing these spirits in and you need to do a deep cleaning. You need to look through all the CDs. You need to look through all of the books and you need to throw these things away. Just get a trash bag and just throw them away. So every marine item in their possessions catch fire. Get out now in Jesus name. And I hear the Lord saying, anoint your pillows, anoint your bed, anoint your garments in Jesus name. Anoint them with oil and bind and rebuke and forbid these spirits from coming in the night. Anoint your pillow, anoint your covers, anoint your children's beds, anoint your bed, anoint your husband and your wife's undergarments and bind up and rebuke and forbid these spirits from coming uh, back in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Every serpent go now in Jesus' name. Any any rituals, any candle burning, any seances, any summoning, any Ouija boards, any summoning of these deities and these gods and any rituals, we cancel that now in Jesus' name and command all spirits to go. I sever the cord of every witch astral projecting into these people, into your children now in Jesus' name. We sever the civil cord and we just send these witches back to where they came from, never to return, be um, just commanded out by fire in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, I separate them now from every ancestral covenant with water spirits now by the blood of Jesus. We sever it. Masturbation, pornography, um, fantasy, lust, um, fetishes out now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and just and just lift your hands and ask the Holy Spirit to fill you, to baptize you with fire and to cleanse out anything left, any stubborn thing left. Say, fill me Holy Spirit to overflowing, baptize me in your fire. So Holy Spirit, I pray that you would baptize them now by a fire in the Holy Spirit, that your power would come upon them and your fire would burn up and wash out every stubborn spirit, every last one right now in Jesus' mighty name all sexual sin, all sexual morality, all lust, all perversion, out now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Leviathan, up and out now in Jesus' name. Behemoth, up and out now in Jesus' name. Mermaid, Rahab, Dagon, up and out now. Seducing spirits, Delilah spirits, up and out now in the mighty name of Jesus. You spirit of pride, get up and out. Loose them, loose them right now. I sever off of your neck, off off of your mouth we just we sever the voice and the actions and and we shut the mouth of leviathan now and we shut the mouth of behemoth now and you will no longer speak through the listener of this prayer you will no longer rile up their tongue you will no longer rile up their tongue and cause them to get into arguments and disagreements and prideful things and jealous things and angry. I, I just see some of you like like you just say things out of your mouth and you get riled up and you get stirred up in, in fights online and person. You say things and you cause strife and you cause problem and it's because of, of behemoth, leviathan, marine spirits. I see it in the men just, just toxic, just coming out of the mouth. We shut that down right now. We shut down that assignment right now in Jesus name I command all behemoth and leviathan and pride spirits to go now to the pit of hell and never return in Jesus mighty name every arrow that was shot into their life every attack of witchcraft and marine spirits we just burn it up right now in Jesus name and command it to go I cover the listener of this prayer and myself in the blood of Jesus every marine witchcraft chain binding them be broken and shattered to pieces now in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name just just Lord just release their life from the grip of marine witchcraft and powers now in the name of Jesus all monitoring spirits and familiar spirits of of the waters be broken off of their life now every monitoring spirit every familiar lurking family spirit go now in Jesus mighty name in Jesus' mighty name, I break every witchcraft curse over you that was spoken over you, that was done to you. I break all witchcraft that was done to you in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, over you, over your family, over your husband, over your children, we break witchcraft now. Thank you, Father. Contend with all of those who are contending against me, against the listener of this prayer and their families, our families. God, protect us protect us. Every evil attack, we say, return to sender now in Jesus' name. Every evil done against them by marine witchcraft be reversed now by the blood of Jesus. And I prophesy over you that every curse that was sent to you by the enemy, God is going to turn it around into a blessing for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like that Bible story when, when he called the prophet to curse the people. And when the prophet went to curse, blessing came out of his mouth instead. May all those who open their mouth to curse you, bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I felt that. I felt the Holy Spirit on that. May all who open their mouth to curse you, bless you. May blessings only come out of their mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I claim that, God. I receive that. I receive that, God, in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. And I want to minister to the women before we wrap up. Every marine spirit and every demonic spirit that is wrapped up and residing in your womb, in your ovaries, I bind you up and I command you out right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every spirit, every marine spirit, dry up your waters. I command your waters to be dried up in their wombs right now and cast out in Jesus' mighty name. Every egg be burnt up and consumed. That didn't that just did not come from the Holy Spirit. Every every serpent, every snake egg, every marine egg and implantation and seed in the womb be consumed and destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit now. And endometriosis, PCOS, 
unbarrenness, you spirit of barrenness, get out now in Jesus' name. I command all of you to be bound and gathered in one place and to come out now by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spirit afflicting the womb, afflicting the ovaries, afflicting the eggs and the generations that this woman of God is carrying, go now in Jesus' name out. Out by fire now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in Jesus' name. We lose life. We lose health. We lose prosperity. We lose blessing. Every spiritual blessing over the eggs in the womb right now. In Jesus' mighty name. And every generational curse that was assigned to each child that this woman is carrying, grandchildren included, must go now, must break, must be cast out, canceled, and to the pit of hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, your womb is blessed. Your life is blessed. Your family is blessed. Your bloodline is blessed. In Jesus' name, thank you, God, that you have blessed us with every spiritual blessing, that we are the head and not the tail, that we are your children, that we are heirs with you, Father. God, I pray that you would fill them up to overflowing every person who is listening, God. And any stubborn, any spirit that would be hiding, be exposed. Come out now in Jesus' name. We ask for a full deliverance, Father. Fill them to overflowing. And and I just hear the Lord saying that some of you, this is going to be a process. And to come back and watch this video again and receive another layer and receive another layer. And God is going to walk with you. Some of you got totally free today, praise God. And others, God is going to walk you through this process like an onion being peeled because there's a lot of things. There's a lot of trauma There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of grief. And God is gentle with us. And he's not going to put us through something that we can't handle. And so love the process. Learn to love the process. Learn to be led by the good shepherd because you're safe with him. He's freeing you. He's washing you. He's cleansing you. And he's doing it gently in a way that you can understand. And so don't become frustrated. Don't come into these prayers with an agenda. Just yield to the Holy Spirit. And let me know in the comments. If this blessed you, what God did in your life, what the Lord spoke to you, I want to celebrate your freedom with you. I want to celebrate and lift up the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for deliverance. Thank you, God, for the power of your blood. Thank you for the name of Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, God. We're grateful to you. We're grateful for your freedom. We thank you, God, for the cross. That by your stripes, we're healed, we're set free, we're saved, and we're delivered today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. We're starting a deliverance series now. We are in the second deliverance video. The first video in the series is breaking free from anxiety, panic disorders, and fear. So if you need deliverance from that, you can go to my channel uh, for that. And we're going to continue uploading videos um, every week of just more deliverance prayers and more deliverance prayers for you guys. And so be blessed. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, just so you know, on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, we have uh, discipleship groups uh, if you want to be discipled, if you want to grow in your, in your relationship with Christ. So that's available there. So definitely follow on, on Instagram and get connected, get plugged in and uh, subscribe here on YouTube. I love you guys and I hope this video blessed you. I'll see you in the next one.